So the Elden Ring DLC came out recently, and instead of playing it like a normal sane person, I wanted to make it harder on myself by making a Zenitsu build. So make sure to like, subscribe, and get ready to touch Radon. To access the DLC, you first need to beat Radon and Moog. I've already done both of those, so I went ahead and talked to Leda and touched the creepy finger in the spider sack. Now here we are in the shadow of the Erd Tree, and there's only a few things left I need to get the Zenitsu build ready to actually do the playthrough. Before becoming a crybaby though, I went over and talked to this cool gladiator chick. After chatting with Freya, I got my first Skydu Tree Fragment, which are buffs exclusive to the DLC. The dungeon I'm in houses the Ash of War I need, so I went ahead and dodged some statues and swords, dodged a few traps, and I got my Ash of War. After getting Blink Bolt, I went to the Western Nameless Mausoleum to fight the first boss. Oh, did I say fight? Oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. I meant I got slaughtered, yeah. I lost to this guy a ton of times, so I went around talking to NPCs and getting some Skadu Tree fragments before I fought him again. After that hefty yap session, I was back to fighting the boss. All these lightning abilities made me feel super cool, even if they weren't very good. Beating that boss was cool and all, but I wanted to check out a few new areas and explore, so I went back to where that bearded guy was and opened that giant door that was behind him. I need to have a talk with whoever made this monster, and it, it just, I, I want to know what went through their mind when they made a giant f***ing scorpion. But who cares about scorpions, right? We're right here next to the poop river, getting tag teamed by shadow dudes. This guy's haircut! <laughs> and now we're at the poop waterfall getting tag teamed yet again, but this time I won. Oh, you guys just thought we were messing with guys with bowl cuts and poop fountains. No, sir. We're fighting a guy with a lion head. Actually, it's two guys in a trench coat. I'm not kidding. Look at look up the lore. It's actually two guys. Drop. 
I wonder if his breath stank. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this isn't actually the time where I beat him. I beat him later on, but I lost the footage for that, so I'm just going to show you the time where I fought him, where I got closest to beating him, that wasn't actually beating him. This boss was actually super hard. I had to fight him like 20, 25 times to get him down. After beating a glorified bobblehead, I narrowly escaped a fight with a ghost flame dragon. Those things are terrifying. Look, everyone, point and laugh, point and laugh, point and laugh, point and laugh, point and laugh. Look at his head, look at his head. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha, you don't get to heal. Hey, look, the Cerulean Coast. It's a perfect place to take your loved ones on a nice, relaxing vacation. Oh my god, a dragon! Man, here we are fighting Rolana. I hated this chick, man. I fought her so many times, almost as much as I fight Radon at the end. But, dude, I couldn't beat her by myself. I had to spawn in people. I'm sorry. I just couldn't. Alright, we're coming, buddy. We did it! Yay! I hate Rolana, but who cares? We're getting some scattered chew fragments and we're going right into the Golden Hippo. This guy was super easy. He only took me like 12 tries, which is like nothing.
Come on, one hit. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, let's go, dude! Okay. Okay. After exploring a bit around the map, I found this boss at the end of a dungeon. Okay, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it here. I was screaming profanities during this fight. I hate this boss with an absolute passion. This thing just spams spells and summons the entire fight. I hate it. I hate it so much. Hate's not good for your heart, but you know what is? Going into the Shadow Keep library and stepping on this statue's feet. I completely forgot about Mesmer and that he's actually in that Shadow Keep place. But yeah, I like kind of skipped him, but I'll, I went back later. In these ancient ruins, which were my favorite place on the map, I saw a golden hippo, I shmurdered it, got some scatter chief fragments, and found these dogs, which turned out to be snakes. Oh, these are snakes. They're snakes. Oh, they're snakes. I thought they were cool. I thought they were cool. I'm sad those snakes weren't as chill as I thought they were, but here's a lion fight. If you were worried that this one was going to be the same, it's not, because this guy likes to summon frogs. Frog. It just sucks that my Mimic doesn't know any better not to step in the Death Blight. Alright, now he's no longer Deathfly, we're chill. At the end of the Ancient Ruins, you can find Romina, Saint of the Bud. She is my favorite boss in this DLC. Really fun, and her weapon is super cool. I wonder if I'm going to stagger her ever. I almost got greedy there. That is such a good boss fight. I'm, I, of course I'm getting angry, but that is a really, really fun, good boss fight. Hey, I wonder if this is Mesmer. In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Yep, all jokes aside, here's the real boss fight.
I actually really liked this boss fight and it wasn't too bad. It only took me like a couple more tries than it did the hippo. Oh my god, no. No, don't do this to me. What? Dude, let's go! If you're tired of boss fights, we're gonna have a little bit of break from those now. We got Mesmer's kindling, so we're gonna light this tree on fire. A lot of burning of trees in this game. As we know from past experience lighting trees on fire, they always teleport you somewhere else. So here we are in Inir Ilum, where you can find mummies who ate too many donuts, the most annoying bird ever, and this random knight who I have no connection to and definitely didn't slaughter just before this clip. We're finally on to the final fight, but I do have some bad news, I wasn't able to do it by myself. I gave it like 60 or 70 tries with just me and my mimic and I could not get him below like 25-30% health just because that last phase is so difficult. I, I'm sorry I had to spawn people in but it's just, it, it's the game man, it's hard. But I, I played it and I did it anyway so here we go. As hard as it was, this fight is very fun. I do like it because Radon is my favorite character in Elden Ring, but yeah, it's just really, really difficult.
Yay! God? He's a god? Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that by myself, ever. I almost died with all of my pots with them here. Because this is a hard build. Let's see what goes on. All my homies hate Mikola, but besides that, that's it for this playthrough. I'm not doing any of the other side bosses because I just don't care to do them with this build. It's really difficult and this build is not great. If you do want to play it with this build, it's a bit of a challenge, but it is fun. So I'll leave that in the description. Um, if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. And yeah, that's it guys. I'll see ya.